Explosive kamikaze drones are creating a new form of warfare in Russia-Ukraine conflict. Photographs of a four-foot-wide airplane-shaped drone that had fallen out of the sky in the Kiev region and crashed on the sandy ground began circulating on social media recently. While that specific drone did not detonate on impact, the Washington Post uncovered some of the first evidence that Russia is using a new and terrible weapon in its battle with Ukraine – a killer drone that can dive bomb into targets, destroying them with little or no warning. Russian kamikaze drones, also known as loitering weapons, are expected to be joined on the battlefield by American drones supplied to Ukrainian forces, making this the largest direct clash between two countries in which they've been deployed on both sides. According to experts on the subject, it illustrates that these drones are becoming the norm in modern conflict and that they are likely to make the battle more lethal and unpredictable. Welcome to Drone Zone, the channel that brings you the latest, most exciting news and info about drones. In today's video, we talk about Ukraine's answer to Russian tanks, so make sure to stay till the end of the video to know how China is also joining the battle for drone superiority. It's going to be more of a psychological effect, said Ingvild Boda, a researcher in autonomous weapons at the University of Southern Denmark's Autonomous Weapons Laboratory. There is nowhere to hide. The Russian invasion of Ukraine on February 24th, as well as the subsequent fighting, have already acted as a testing ground for high-tech weaponry. The Ukrainian military uses portable anti-tank missiles to destroy a huge number of Russian vehicles, while the Russian government tried to muddy the situation on the ground by circulating fake information on social media channels like Facebook and Twitter. Ordinary people from all around the world have been using Twitter to verify photographs of Russian troop movements and give them to Ukrainian officials in order to help with the war effort in Ukraine. Drones have also played a significant role in the fight. Russian tanks and vehicles are being destroyed by Ukraine's Bayraktar TB2, which is the size of a small jet and is armed with laser-guided missiles. The Bayraktar TB2 is assisting in the invasion's halt. According to Wim Zwijenberg, a drone expert with the Dutch weapons control NGO PAX, there is some indication that Ukraine is also using the Polish-made Warmate drone in its operations, which can be repurposed as a surveillance drone or loaded with explosives to act as a loitering munition. Russia, on the other hand, has launched Eleron-3 surveillance drones to scout Ukrainian positions. The smaller exploding drones now in use by both Russia and Ukraine are smaller and less powerful than prior, more typical drones. Instead of flying away from a base to launch missiles, they soar above the battlefield and turn into missiles, dive-bombing vehicles or groups of soldiers before exploding on impact with the ground below. Some of them are small enough to fit in a backpack and be utilized in the middle of a battle, making them especially devastating in urban or guerrilla combat. Most of the time, they're also less priced and easier to use. KUB BLA drones, which have been spotted in Kyiv, can fly for up to 30 minutes and at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour before colliding with a target. The switchblades traveling from the United States to Ukraine are much smaller, and they can fly autonomously while an operator analyzes a video stream for a suitable target. Despite the fact that the majority of hovering bombs are still directed by people, they may be updated with software that allows them to select their own targets. This has raised worry among arms control experts who are concerned about the idea of allowing computers to decide who to kill, which might lead to a world where lethal autonomous weapons are the norm in both large and small confrontations. Drones armed with loitering munition have been used in previous conflicts. They saw intermittent action during the Libyan and Syrian civil wars, and they played a crucial role in Azerbaijan's defeat of Armenia in the forthcoming confrontation between the two countries in 2020. Experts believe Russian soldiers in Idlib, a city in northwestern Syria, utilized the same KUB BLA drone spotted in the Kiev region to assassinate high-level targets and detonate explosives in pickup trucks carrying persons of interest. Long-range cruise missiles bombarded Ukrainian cities, power stations and military installations at the start of Russia's invasion. Despite the fact that large columns of tanks and trucks flowed across the border, their progress was slowed by supply issues and heavy resistance from Ukrainian soldiers. As a result of the fighting, Russia has taken up residence in the territory surrounding Ukraine's cities, hitting them with missiles and artillery pieces. Despite the fact that both sides utilize loitering munitions, experts believe they will be most valuable to Ukrainian forces, which use smaller teams of men moving fast over the battlefield in vehicles to attack Russian tanks and defensive positions before fleeing to safety. According to Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, 
The switchblades produced in the United States and about to be delivered to Ukraine are easier to conceal and transfer quickly. They also increase the range with which Ukrainians may fight Russian foes, allowing them to take out command and control vehicles in the field and target high-value Russian targets like generals and other senior commanders. If you've made it this far in the video, please subscribe as it immensely motivates us to make more videos and will get you to see more of our high-quality content. All of these characteristics are incredibly helpful to insurgents, Lee said. It's possible to do a lot of really horrible things with them, especially if you use them well. Small mobile teams have already proven themselves capable of knocking out Russian tanks and vehicles on the move with portable anti-tank missiles like the US Javelin and British Enlaw. The switchblades will only add to their lethality. So far, just a few Russian hovering bombs have been discovered, and the US has only committed to delivering 100 switchblade systems to the region, each of which comprises 10 drones. NATO, on the other hand, has deployed around 1,700 portable anti-tank missile launchers to the region. However, increased use of loitering munitions, according to Borde, may have an influence that extends beyond the specific conditions in which they are used. As a result of facing Ukrainians armed with lethal high-tech weapons and suffering massive fatalities, some Russian forces appear to be losing their desire to fight. Loitering munitions may aggravate the issue. The switchblade in particular is designed to engage targets in covert positions, explained Borde. According to Bradley Bowman, a senior director at the hardline think tank Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, loitering munitions shorten the time it takes to identify, locate, and destroy a target, and are difficult for an opponent to detect because they create little heat signature when fired. When distances are limited and you're up close and personal with your adversary in urban conflict, he continued, stopping that kill chain as quickly as possible can be the difference between life and death for you. According to Borde, as the war proceeds, larger and more lethal hovering weapons are likely to be used as well. Russia also has the Lancet 3 drone, which, like the KUB BLA, is launched by a catapult and is larger than the Switchblade drones that will be delivered to Ukraine in the coming months. According to experts, the Lancet 3 has already been used in Syria and will be deployed in Ukraine sooner or later if it hasn't already. The widespread use of loitering munition drones has prompted some military experts to express fear that these weapons could slip into the hands of the wrong people, such as terrorists. According to Lee, the drones are particularly suited for assassination attempts, citing an event in which two Chinese-made DJI M600 drones armed with C4 explosives attempted but failed to kill Venezuelan President Nicola Maduro. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you think China can actually compete with US drones. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video just like I've enjoyed making it, and make sure to comment with any future videos that you're interested in watching. I'll be seeing you all soon, but until then, watch this video to learn more about switchblade drones that the US is using to tip the scales of war to Ukraine's side. And as always, subscribe or crash.